Okay, and then speaking of celebrating, do you want to see me in the kitchen? You want to see me? I'm. Do you mean cooking? Cooking in the kitchen, there? getting busy, chefing it up, however you want to define it. I'm interested because you know there were Super Bowl parties, there were Oscar parties, there were film fair parties. So I just thought, let's spice it up a notch, and I wanted to do it Bollywood style. Check it out. This is my segment in the kitchen. Yeah, me serious. Check it out. <laughs> is what you mean, Casey? So I'm here with Rick in his beautiful kitchen, and he's going to be teaching us how to make these fusion-inspired appetizers for this grand Bollywood party that we're going to be throwing. That's right. Not sure when we're going to throw it, but I really <laughs> want to throw one, and I need some advice on how to make some delicious appetizers. For sure. Thank you so much for having me, and uh, we're going to start off with an awesome dish that actually. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to have pigs in a blanket. I'm sure, I don't know if you remember yes. about pigs in a blanket, very easy to make, uh, but I'm gonna do a little twist on that for the adults. We're gonna make chicken kebabs in a blanket. Chicken kebabs in a blanket. In a blanket. <gasps> in them is garlic, onions, uh, some green chilies, some olive oil, and some other ingredients, which I'll tell you a little bit later on. We've got some green chutney to go with that and some crescent rolls. Ooh, very easy, three ingredients. That's it. Pre-made option. Pre-made option. Brilliant. It's good to go Especially with. Especially for a girl like me. That's it. All right, so, so what do we need to do? All right, moving on to our next fusion-inspired appetizer. Yeah. What do you got? We've got the triple threat. The triple threat, the reason why I call these triple threat, just in, just like in Bollywood, the actors can sing, dance, and act. These are dedicated towards them. Ooh. These have a bit of spice, sweet, and sour. Ooh. It's gonna make a triple threat flavor in your mouth. They're gonna tingle and make a Bollywood dance. Just, just make them dance and do the, you know. Yeah. All we're gonna do is take some tiger shrimps. Okay. All right, and I've made a marinade here. And basically in this marinade is uh, pickled mangoes, uh, a jar. Um, and we've got uh, mango chutney and some olive oil. All right, moving on to our next appetizer. I'm so excited because you have some of my favorite ingredients. Yeah. I see onions. onions. I eat this with everything. Yeah. Onions is one of my absolute favorite things. White onions or red onions? Both. I will take <laughs> it in any shape, way, or form. <laughs> I just love the taste of it. Tomatoes and. They blue taste cheese. amazing. Yeah. So basically, what we're going to do is going to make a bruschetta, but not just any bruschetta. We're going to do an Indian style bruschetta. So for the bruschetta uh, uh, toppings, I'm going to add a dash of salt. Okay. Just a pinch. And then the other secret ingredient to this is a chaat masala. Ooh. This uh, is a chunky chaat masala. You can find this at your ethnic grocery store. Yep. Uh, and also at uh, any grocery store that uh, offer, has an ethnic section. Gives it a bit of a kick. It gives it a bit of a kick. And I'll show you the other secret ingredient in just a second here. All right. There's a trick with the lemon now. I okay. don't know if you know the trick. No, so I don't. So basically what we do is we're going to just put it down on our cutting board. Okay. And we're just going to press down on it so it releases all the juices inside the lemon. Finishing it off with a drink. Well, that's right. What are we making? We're going to be making an Indian style Caesar. Really? A spicy Indian style Caesar. I hope you're thirsty. Yes, I am. <laughs> Take a lemon. I'll, I'll show you as well. Okay. And we're going to just rim the glass with some nice lemon. And what this does, you just take it. And what are we putting in This into? is chunky chaat masala. Oh! So instead of celery salt, we're going to be using chunky chaat masala. I love the twist. So we're going to take a couple of dashes of hot sauce. You can okay. use any hot sauce. Do you like it spicy? I do. All right, let's. I like a kick. There you go. Uh, nice I'm Indian. Look. Indian, yeah, I know. Some Worcestershire sauce. All righty. A couple of dashes of that. Now, what I'll get you to do is just uh, take one spoon of some seafood sauce. We're going to take some Clamato juice. We're going right. to add that in. A staple. We're going to add a nice pepper to it. Ah. Just at the top as a garnish. We're also going to add some celery of as course, well. We can't you want? That. Done deal. All right, Veronica, so we've got our kebabs in a blanket with our green chutney ranch sauce, our Indian style bruschetta, the triple threat, and our balle balle scissors. We are ready to go. We are ready to go. Ready Cheers. Ready for our pate. Cheers. Thank you so much for it. Thank you. If you want to try out these fusion-inspired appetizers and other dishes, 
Hop on to ricksgoodeats.com for complete recipes. Come ahead,